In this video I'll be showing you how to fix City Skylines 2 crashing, freezing and not starting on your Windows computer. Now the first thing that I'm going to be showing you is a program that I created called Easy Game Utility. So you can download this by using the link in the description below. You will then end up on a page that looks like this which is of course my website. Just go all the way to the bottom and you can then click on free download to download the program. It's also currently on offer as well for Halloween. So if you want to purchase the Pro, then go ahead. Anyway, so once you've installed Easy Game Utility, the first thing that you need to do is clean the cache files for the launcher that you're using for City Skylines. So if you're using Steam, click on clean next to that and go OK. If you're using the Xbox Store, Microsoft Store, click on clean and then click on OK there as well. Right, scroll down to the bottom once you've done that and click on clean next to your graphics card. And you also need to click on clean next to DirectX. Also, I just want to add, if you do purchase the Pro, it really does help me add more features and improve on Easy Game Utility. And thank you to everyone that's currently already using Pro. So click on close now. The next thing that we need to do is go across to the Fix tab. You then need to scroll all the way to the bottom and you now need to click on browse. Go to the location where you installed City Skylines. So I've just done that wrong then, but I've installed mine on my C drive and it's within the Xbox app, so Xbox game, sorry. And then you can see it's there, City Skylines 2, and then content and you're looking for the cities2.exe. Once you've found it, go ahead and click on open. Now, for some reason, that's bringing up a error. So what we can actually do is copy here the address, the location. And once you've copied that, just simply press cancel, go to here, paste that in, go backslash, and then you need to type in cities, and you then need to type in 2.exe. So this is for the Xbox version. I will look at getting that error resolved eventually. Anyway, now click on the drop down menu. And you now need to click on Xbox app if you're using the Xbox app version or use in Steam, then select Steam. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on attempt fix. Now, what Easy Game Utility is going to do now is run through a few different methods at trying to resolve the issue of what's stopping your game from launching or crashing. Once it's finished going through all the troubleshooting methods and stuff, it's then going to go ahead and launch the game. So you can see there now, it's launching City Skylines 2 on my PC. And then it will load up the game. That's just a start screen. But anyway, if that didn't fix the issue that you have with the game, then the next thing that you need to do is just completely close down Easy Gaming Utility. Once you have closed down the program, go ahead and right click on the start menu icon, go to settings and click on update and security and just click on check for updates to ensure you've got the latest updates installed for your Windows computer. Obviously, if it says you can upgrade to Windows 11, don't bother doing it because Windows 11 sucks. Anyway, I'm just, that's my own opinion, but yeah, I don't like Windows 11. So close that down once you've updated Windows. The next thing that you need to do is also update the driver for your graphics card. So if you don't know what graphics card you have in your system, right click on the start menu icon, go to device manager and just expand display adapters. You can also see what graphics card you have within Easy Game Utility. In fact, I will quickly show you because it's a lot easier. So once you found out your graphics card, head on over to the manufacturer's website for your graphics card and you then need to download the latest driver. On Easy Game Utility, you can just click on driver download next to your graphics card and it will just open up the website straight away. So you can grab that graphics card. Anyway, once you've updated Windows and your graphics card, go ahead and launch the game again and see if that resolved the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing that causes issues with games crashing is making sure that you don't have any software running in the background that could be conflicting causing it to crash. So make sure you've closed everything down. So that's web browsers, music players, um, basically just anything you have running. Also, that brings me on security software. If you're using a third party security program, then also close that down. Um, when I say close it down, that's up to you if you want to do that. So put it into a disabled mode and then try running the game. Just keep in mind though, you might not be protected from security threats while it's disabled. You could also put it into a game mode or a passive mode if it has the option. 
Now, once you've done that, try the game again and see if that helped. If it didn't help, then the next thing that you need to do is open up the start menu and type in control panel and open up the control panel. You now need to find the option that says power options. If you don't see it, then change the few by to small icons, click on power options, and you then want to select the high performance option. Once you've done that, Again, go ahead and launch the game again and see if that resolved the problem. Now, if none of the methods so far have helped, then the next thing that you need to do is open up the launcher where you purchased the game. So the first example, I'm going to use Steam. So as you can see, I've now got Steam open. Find the game in your game library, right click on the game and go to properties. Now go down to install files and click on verify integrity of game files. Allow this to run. Once it's finished, then try launching the game again. I'll show you how to do this in the Xbox app now. So again, once you have the Xbox app open, select your game from the left or click on My Library and then select City Skylines 2. Click on the three dots and you now need to click on Manage it. You now need to click on files and you then need to click on verify and repair. And again, this is going to ensure that none of the files have become corrupted or missing. That does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope one of the methods in the video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like this video, click the like button below and subscribe for more.